All right, so today I'm gonna try something different. It's a thick set, three to one resin. Clear, but that is way too big to put in a pressure pot. This is supposed to take a few days before it sets up. So I'm hoping that it'll have time to sink down into all these splits and cracks. Now this is a, a, a that is a cut off of a different one that I'm working on. Um, it, it was split too bad and I was kind of like worried about it. So I took a, I don't know, a couple inches off of it and I'm gonna try to turn something out of that instead of just turning it away on the floor. But anyways, uh, three to one from my date, 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 date sheet, three A and one B. So every every hundred grams of so, I get twenty eight grams of so. And that, there's a pretty big lip running around the bottom. So I'm not quite sure how much that's going to take to fill that up. So uh, and then I'm going to use this Jim Holtz. It's a new color, mermaid. I'm not sure what it looks like. I thought I had a purple over there that I was going to do, but it looks more like a blue to me. Let's try this again here. I'm not sure where it's going, but it's going somewhere. Really? Where are you going? There's not that many empty spaces in there, and it's not floating. Oh, it is floating. <laughs> How about that? That's what's wrong. It shouldn't be floating, but it's floating. All right. Now what? I don't know what this is on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, a big spool of cable is the only thing I can find to hold that down. Uh, I guess we'll see what it looks like in the morning, or a couple mornings, depending on how long it takes to set up. I may have to add more, I'm not positive. Let's see if it soaks into the wood or not. But this isn't, I can't push that down anymore, so it's not hot. Not hot yet, anyways. We'll see in the morning. So it got a little warm, not bad though. I was worried it was gonna melt this. I was warned no more than three inches in. I'm pretty sure I poured more than three inches. And then I made another pour of 500 grams because I don't know if the wood absorbed it or what, but that was that far down. So I filled that all back up and in here. Uh, I really like it at the moment. It's, there's no bubbles. This wasn't pressurized. It's pretty thin when you mix it. And I liked it. So let me see if I can get this out of here. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> I didn't have any leaks. That's a good thing, right? This was just a test for another one. So we'll, we'll see. All right, a little more persuading than I wanted, but I didn't have to cut it off. next one. I'm not sure I'm alright with that. That's where my large amount of resin went. I couldn't get that to go down in there. Maybe if I don't put so much silicone in it, I can just have that resin ridge in there. Alright, now how do I get those off there? <laughs> sure how that's gonna go but that's a big piece I'll bring the tail stock up <laughs> yikes all right well y'all can't really see right there can you <laughs> Alright, so I gotta remove some of the weight off of one side. I'm gonna only turn like 350 RPM.
I guess a long ways to go. I hadn't planned on that being there, and I really wish that wasn't there so I could just use it for a rim, but I'm not gonna be able to by the looks of it. Okay, so after Dunley put the faceplate on, because I couldn't get this to balance at all, I forgot to turn the camera back on. <laughs> so, uh, I got a bit of chip out, and it's, uh, I'm just gonna shape this. I'm gonna lose it, and I didn't really want to lose that part of it. But. So I'm gonna try to get this flattened out, and uh, some kind of profile, I'm a little high. We'll see, I got it finally up to 1,020. It's a little wobbly. I think it's on the front side. So. ugly. Let's try to clean that up some. Now, I just wanted to see if that will fit in there. It did not go big enough anyway. So. Tell I ain't use these jaws, right? <laughs> ha! Success. Okay, so this is taking me most of the day because I could only turn it like 300 RPM for a long time. It's still wobbling. 
And I think it's this big chunk of big chunk of right there. But I'm gonna sand this up, seal it, finish it, scribble pole burn right in there somewhere. I got lots of room to do that in this one. And hopefully, as everything else went as I wanted, I can get the inside of this turned and it stays together. But all the cracks filled as I wanted here. It's got a little bleed out, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to see if it would go in the cracks. And no air pockets and no nothing. Um, that, it's really weird. It says thick set, but it's super thin. I'm kind of liking it other than the weight. A little bit of tear out there, too. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back after I sand on this. Okay, well you see I cheated. Power sanded. I was having a rough time. This uh what the hell's that? Chunk missing. Uh, this resin is really hard. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's it's lumped up higher than the wood. I like it. I just gotta figure out how to use it. <laughs> so alright, we're gonna do some sanding sealer, sand it back again. More sanding sealer. And uh, I think because it's so big, use the abrasive paste and then the axe restoring polish. So it's somewhat food grade. I guess that's food grade. It says it's food grade. So food safe anyways. And I'm thinking it might not be deep enough, but it kind of looks like a salad bowl. It's not really what I intended when I started, but you know how that happens. The bowl speaks to you, but it looks like a salad bowl to me. I wasn't quite sure what I was making when I started this. <laughs> so sealer, sand, sealer, scribble, axe, and axe. Henry has brought me his frisbee. Yes, it's a five gallon bucket lid. You don't play frisbee? Frisbee, huh? Frisbee? Yeah? You're a bully. You are, you're a bully. <laughs> So, as you can see, that is not on center. So I'm gonna take it out until that goes away so I have center. I don't quite trust this. I've had issues with it being off balance. And then to boot, it has moved. And my, my, my mortise on the backside isn't actually round. So I'm gonna bring the tailstock up, but I don't have a center to get a hold of yet.
Hey, yay, yay. All right, well, I'm getting there. think I think it looks pretty good it's a little wobbly uh, all the rain we've had the moisture content in everything in my barn is up except for that heat treated ash that stuff doesn't have a reading <laughs> other than that I think it looks pretty good get it off of there I can't somebody put it on really tight because they thought it was gonna come off said dink it up dummy so anyways there you go 
the satin finish on it and we'll go over 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 there and talk about it I hit it again did you, did you hear that <laughs> I'd like to say it was a nightmare <laughs> I think it finished up at like 14 inches around uh, it's faulted rotten box cylinder with some mermaid blue Tim Holtz alcohol inks in the thick set resin. Now I poured uh, a lot. It took it a few days to set up. I had to do a second pour. I don't know if you can see it. All the cracks, all, all the cracks that were in this were filled in. Some of them you can catch light through them. Uh, so it, it soaked in. I, I'm not sure. I believe this is all the resin coming in. So um, I had to do a second pour, top it off. And then it was really off balance, chasing the lathe around. And it's still kind of off balance like this, because the box holder is really light and just that amount of resin throwing it off. Let me get up here so you can see it, dummy. So you got the flaming in it and some burling and then some, I don't know. <laughs> and your flame goes through the bottom there. There's a bit of burl in the bottom. And of course, the pole barn in it, and yeah, a little bit left in the rim, which is kind of neat. It just a little bit in there. <laughs> so uh, I did get some air bubbles. I don't know if you can see them in there. Uh, maybe you see them this way. Uh, I think because it was poured like this, they got trapped in here. Uh, overall, I'm happy with it. It's done. <laughs> It's taken me about a week to do this. That resin, I believe, I talked to the total boat rep, and he said that would be great for uh, resin tables, river tables. And you can see a little bit of bubbles in there, but this was face down, so they were trapped going this way. And I think that's the only reason I have them, because they're all like uh, on that edge. Other than that, um, give her a thumbs up or give her a thumbs down. Uh, I got new stickers on the board. Claire from Out of the Woods and Seven Crafts. I didn't get last Tuesday's video up in time. Um, had a lot going on and then I ran into some issues. So uh, hopefully I got that next week as you see. The little Foxy's up there and he's over there. <laughs> but uh, I, I have that shout out next, hopefully next Tuesday. I gotta rework what I did. But anyways, like I said, uh, I'll put pictures up at the end. I'll give her a thumbs up. And one other thing, uh, it was a little hard with my video from last Friday being up two to three weeks longer than what Pam's was to get it all coordinated. So I will put a link at the end for that video that Pam did and in the description below uh, for her getting the, the goblet or chalice or whatever, Billy. <laughs> but go over, check out Pam, show her some love. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you all next week. It didn't stop. Stop!